Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Today in this video, we're gonna cover a couple of things. Uh, I'm gonna combine some of the fun of the RC hobby uh, that I do. I'm gonna add a plane servo to the quad uh, that I use. And then I'm going to lift an antenna wire up over an 80 foot tree uh, here at the farm. And then hook up my HF radio. So stay tuned and uh, it should be fun. Later. I said earlier, we are going to mount a servo, uh, 8.5 gram servo that is uh, 4.8 to 6 volt. So we'll easily have um, 5 volt terminal available. This is a PWM connection, which means Brown is ground, um, red, or kind of an orange-ish, uh, is your power, then the yellow is your signal. And we're going to connect the signal to an LED terminal on the flight controller uh, because the servo is going to need um, communication that has a continuous clock on it. And then we will um, load up Betaflight and get into the CLI, the command line interface. And we're gonna remap the flight controller LED to, uh, to a servo, which will activate on Betaflight and then map that to a channel. And that should be it. So let's, uh, let's take the drone apart and see what we can put together. I mount this uh, Uma grip to that particular area of this top plate because the screws here have dug their way into the battery before. So I just add that to not only protect it, from, but to keep it from sliding around. Okay, that aside, gonna have to take the video transmitter off. These little lock nuts do a good job of just keeping everything in place. This is Mamba System F7. I have the ground 5 volt and LED over here, which is exactly the three things that I need. So I think that's where we're gonna go, is, is right there. Making sure I didn't bridge anything. Did not. Okay, so now we need to figure out how much wire we're going to need. It would be nice to have it all centered for that. These are really light. Mount the wire here, and then it's going to be tall enough to clear. Yeah, I think with the screws in the way, this is probably the best bet. You mount that. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that. Okay, there we go. Let's do that. So we've got our soldering iron ready to go. Just 
guy is going to come over here. Okay, so brown to ground. And if we look at our little circuit board here, a little template, so we're going to go ground, 5 volt, and LED. So this is pretty much the order we want to go in. Looks like we're good. Okay. So first things first, we need to take off <clears throat> these propellers because I'm going to apply some power. Okay, so we have the servo set up. Okay, so that on beta flight is showing aux 7. Turtle mode. And it's turtle mode. So aux 7. So let's put some power to it. Welcome to OpenTX. Switch warning. Flight mode one. Low battery, battery critical. Okay, so what I've done here, painted some four ounce uh, fish weights, bright orange. Might have to paint that a little bit more. Um, and we're gonna drop that from the drone and we're gonna drop pretty, pretty high. We're gonna take it up over a tree and then it's gonna have fishing line attached to it or some kind of line. And then we're gonna drape that over the top of a really high tree drop it. The line will be, of course, where we launch the drone. We'll tie an HF antenna to it. Let's uh, test this out. Alright, gonna go 
forward. Hey, towards you, towards you. Drop it. I'm taking the insulation off so I can hook it up to this box up here. And there's the box. Yep. And what does this box do? This is a transformer that is going to make this wire play well with everything else. Thank <laughs> you. 